Lifestyle changes are often the first step in lowering blood pressure. But if your blood pressure is very high or lifestyle changes just aren't enough, your healthcare provider may prescribe medications. One option to help with high blood pressure is hydrochlorothiazide. Here's what you need to know to take this medication. Blood pressure refers to the amount of force of your blood on the walls of the blood vessels. Healthy blood vessels are flexible and can widen when necessary to allow extra blood flow, such as during exercise. But certain things can make your blood vessels less flexible or more narrow. For example, smoking, high blood sugar levels, and high cholesterol levels can all affect your blood vessel walls and may increase blood pressure. Over time, high blood pressure makes the heart work harder and can eventually affect the health of your heart itself. Hydrochlorothiazide is a diuretic, also known as a water pill, because it makes you urinate more. It acts on the kidneys to remove extra water and sodium from the blood. This helps reduce swelling and lower blood pressure. Hydrochlorothiazide is an oral pill that you take once a day, sometimes twice. Your prescriber will tell you exactly how much to take and how often. Your prescriber is the person who wrote you the prescription. This may be your primary care doctor, nurse practitioner, physician's assistant, or a specialist like a cardiologist. They'll work with you and your pharmacist to form your care team. Your prescriber knows your health history, so they know how the medication will help meet your treatment goals and how it might affect other parts of your health. Your pharmacist can also answer questions or provide tips for taking hydrochlorothiazide. For example, it might be a good idea to take this medication in the morning. Taking it in the evening could cause you to wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. Since hydrochlorothiazide lowers your blood pressure, you may experience some dizziness during the first few days of taking it. Try standing up slowly until your body adjusts. Both your prescriber and your pharmacist can answer your questions about side effects. Along with urinating more and dizziness, side effects may include muscle weakness and cramps from low potassium and light sensitivity. These usually get better with time, so tell your care team if they continue or worsen. Don't be afraid to ask your pharmacist or provider about affordability. These days, there are many options for cheaper ways to get your medication.